Hey, Stephanie Garrett here for Press Pass LA. Tonight we're at the W Hotel in Hollywood for the Unlikely Heroes Dinner and Gala, honoring activists for their outstanding achievements in ending human rights violations around the world. Let's go and check it out. Stephanie with Press Pass LA. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So I hear you're presenting tonight. I am. I'm presenting to a director. I'm not going to say his name right now because I haven't gotten the right pronunciation. I don't want <laughs> to mess it up. Yeah. How do you feel about being here and, and celebrating this event? Well, I'm a huge uh, supporter of this organization. I consider myself part of like the um, the board, basically. I've been um, really working hard with them, and I'm just really proud to like be here and see all the heroes that are uh, working so hard against human trafficking and like recognizing that it is a problem. All the people that are using their name and using their fame and using their likability to fight against something that you believe in. Right. Okay. Now, so what are you working on that you could talk about? Well, I have a movie coming out next month that I should talk about. It's called Christmas Bounty. It's uh, with WWE and ABC Family with Mike the Miz. I'm actually coming out with my first Christmas song. We don't have a name for it yet, but it will. I will be dropping the single out um, in next month. And then as far as what I'm working on, I can't say just yet because I know, I know, but it's good stuff. How are you? Good. You look handsome, first of all. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> Thank you. And you're being honored tonight. I am, yeah, wow. yeah. It's quite humbling. Yeah. yeah, so it feels, does it feel really good? Or? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, you know, fighting trafficking is hard work. It's sobering. It's yeah. um, being in the trenches is mm -hmm. intense. And so uh, it's crazy. I mean, just to kind of think about it and, and look back over the past few years and, and, and now to be sort of recognized for a little bit of what you've done. And um, it's yeah. cool. It feels validating. It's, yeah. Good. How did you originally get involved with the organization? So, um, actually, I uh, actually started uh, Exodus Cry back in 2007. And the way that it started was kind of funny because um, I was just really gripped by the issue. I remember like being in a prayer room, reading stories and just weeping and thinking, I have to do something mm. about this. This is so wrong. Right. And so... Um, Around that time, a lady approached me and my wife, who we had never met before, and she said, look, I know you don't know me, she said, but, um, but God's told me to give you $10,000 to start an organization to fight human trafficking. And so that kind of launched us into this crazy journey. And uh, yeah, so it's snowballed into the production of our uh, film Nefarious, which has now won uh, some awards and things like that. And, just really helping to get the message out there, helping to educate the masses about the issue. So oh, that's a flower. Okay, and um, how do you feel about being here tonight? Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I do so much work in anti-human trafficking through music education. I've um, been working with uh, anti-human trafficking efforts since 2006, so this is great. I'm so excited. Yeah. Are you, uh, who are you looking forward to seeing perform tonight? Well, my producer, Babyface. Oh. Oh. We're doing my first debut album together. Oh, really? Now, what kind of music do you do? Um, classical piano mixed with beats and strings. So Kenny does all the strings and the beats for me. Then you look fabulous, first of all. And um, how, so, how does this, all of this feel for you tonight? Oh, it's so amazing. It, tonight is called Recognizing Heroes. We're actually recognizing modern-day abolitionists for their outstanding accomplishments to end modern-day slavery. Yeah. Now, how did you? How did all this come about for you? Well. At Unlikely Heroes, we rescue and restore children who were trapped in sex slavery worldwide. And we really feel like it's important to build everything that we're doing on a foundation of honor. And so we wanted to honor people tonight who are doing a great work to rescue and restore children from sex slavery. That's great. Now, what do you feel about being here tonight? I'm so happy I could make it. I'm working right now and I was so terrified I wouldn't be able to make it. I'm so passionate about this and I believe in Unlikely Heroes and I believe in Erica Grieve um, who started this. I, I'm so inspired by her um, and driven by, by her goals and her motivations and um, so I'm, I feel blessed and honored to be here. Now you're performing with your husband, is that right? I am, yeah. He's right over there. Just call him over here so we can well, get an interview. Paul and I are uh, writing and recording right now, hoping to have something else out, um, another album by the end of the year. And what else? I have a few things in development writing-wise. Okay. Um, well, you're a busy lady. She's always working. It's it's beyond belief how much work that she crams into a one-year time period. Yeah. You know? yeah, it's amazing. Okay. That sounds great. Now, what are you working on? I am, uh, like she said, you know, we're writing songs together. I just got off tour uh, doing my own stuff. Okay. Um, for about, I was on the road for about a month uh, playing with the Hanson Boys, uh, yeah. a killer band, you know, and uh, did, did that run for about a month and then uh, writing new material as well and hopefully to get back in the studio before the end of the year and hopefully 
have some new music out again, but there's always new music coming out. So. Yes, how are you? Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? How do you feel about being here tonight? I'm honored to be here. You know, yeah. To perform, yes. And yeah, you're performing. Yes, yes. yes and so. how's that feel? How's that feel? Yeah. It's something I do. <laughs> it's just a, just a job, right? Yeah, a well, job. you look so handsome. Well, thank you, thank you. Now, what do you uh, have coming up that we can check out? Um, I've got an album coming out with uh, Tony Braxton. Oh. We're doing a duets album together. And, nice. And uh, working on a number of projects still, but um, that's the main thing I'm working on. Being here tonight, I'm really excited actually. I'm really looking forward to uh, what's going to happen. I don't know the exact programming here, but I know the cause. Uh, I know that we're going to be hearing some pretty brave stories and hearing a lot of a lot of um, amazing things about some pretty brave people, and that to me is a big deal. I just did um, I just did a, a, a TV show for Lifetime uh, called Baby Sellers, which was about baby trafficking. Uh, so uh, ever since then, for some reason, I've been uh, sh having these these events show up, which uh, I find fascinating. I think it's an incredibly poignant and uh, important topic, which before any of this happened, I, I was not really as in tune as, as I am now. Right. So uh, you're being honored tonight? Yes, ma'am. And how does that feel? It feels good, you know. I mean, obviously, I don't need an award to do this stuff, you know, yeah. but it's awesome to be recognized, you know. I'm just happy that we actually get to do anything, you know, and be givers and make it happen, you know. Okay, now anything you wanna, you're working on that you want to share? Uh, new record, new record that I'm working on, you know. I'm also working on my wife's record, so we have a lot of stuff going on that's in the, well, that's in the great. work. great. Well, thank you, and have a You look so pretty tonight. Thank you so much. Now tell me, how did you get involved in this? Um, well, I got asked to be here, so I came. <laughs> Well, that's honest. <laughs> I uh, I work with Somali Mom Foundation, actually. So I work with an anti-sex trafficking organization, and Unlikely Heroes is highlighting the work that Somali Mom Foundation is doing, so that's why I'm here. Yeah, and you're, are you being honored tonight? Um, yes, I don't know why. Um, they, the, I, I, I'm going to take it in honor of my heroes, uh, the young girls who are the, who are the survivors of this atrocious uh, sin on humanity, as Colin Powell calls it. And that's why I'm here, because Unlikely Heroes is giving me a platform. They're letting me talk about this. Once again, we're going to be, you know, getting media surrounding this issue. Hopefully one more person in the world will know about it after tonight, and that's what my aim is. So That's great. Much. So what brought you out tonight to celebrate this? Well, um, it's such an amazing cause, um, and I'm good friends with Erica and Ben um, through this event. And honestly, um, I think it's something that everyone needs to know about, and it's, it's really important to educate people on what's really happening um, behind closed doors, because a lot of people don't know that uh, sex slavery is still going on in 2013. So I think that the most important thing that we can do is educate, uh, spread awareness, throw amazing events like this to raise money to to try to get these these girls and these kids out of slavery it's right. just horrible what's happening and it should not be happening in 2013 exactly We're past this I'm excited to be here I love helping Ben and of course I mean anything that helps this is a human rights problem so it doesn't matter what your feelings are about anything if you're human this is your problem so I don't feel like because I and anyone I know is being human, humanly trafficked or trafficked is not my problem. It is my problem. Right. So, okay. Well, switching gears, um, the show. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> oh my God! Big okay. Sigh. I know, right? I love. First of all, I love the show, and I love you on the show. How is it like for you to be in such a mix of all the girls and every different personalities and everything? I think it's just what life really is, and I happen to be what I'm most. Uh, I, let's see, my children say this all the time. The most surprising thing about me is that my, the, how eclectic my group of friends are. Mm -hmm. But those women aren't like, they're like one set of my friends, okay. right? And these are women I kind of grew up with. I've known for many, many years. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a real life sisterhood is what it is. We just put a camera on and you get to see. Really? It's really not anything so unusual, okay. yes. Now what can we expect from you on the show? Well, we have to see if there is another season, and we have to see if I'm invited for another season. But I will let you know everything on my website. It's always updated. And what's your website? DaphneWayans.com. All right. Well, hey, Stephanie Garrett here at the Unlikely Heroes event. It was a great event. We interviewed Babyface and a slew of other people. So make sure you check out the website and check out all the interviews, and it was great. And we'll catch you next time. So ciao.